So today we are sitting down with Ms. Revati Kant, who is the Chief Design Officer at Titan, and we are looking forward to having a wonderful conversation about Tanish post the pandemic, post what the past year has been, and finding out more about what drives uh, design at Titan. Welcome, Revati, ma'am. How are you today? Thank you, Bhavna. Thanks so much. All well. I'm saying it's a bright and sunny day in Bangalore, and all is well. Yeah. So starting off with the big news, uh, with Mia by Tanish becoming the style partner for Indian athletes at the Tokyo Olympics. So that was uh, a really big statement by uh, Tanish. Right. Yeah. Absolutely, I think it was it was a great opportunity. And first of all, first and foremost, I think I must say uh, congratulations to all the players who first went to Tokyo, and to congratulations to all the winners. And we've got the highest uh, medal tally. I think it's a moment of great pride for all of us uh, uh, Indians. We even got a gold. And the girls who represented uh, us and who are wearing Mia, very very proud moment for all of us. Everyone who goes to Olympic is a winner. So, so, and uh, Mia looked at this as an opportunity. Mia is target targeting these young, progressive women who are, you know, uh, very independent and making a mark on themselves. And hence, this opportunity was a fabulous one. And uh, we dressed them up uh, with Mia jewelry, and they have done us all proud and come back home safe. So, yeah, that was that was a, a quick one and a very interesting association which uh, Mia uh, did very recently at the Olympics. Definitely, I think talking more about uh, celebration, uh, I think that also uh, further leads us into how Tanish celebrates design, artistry, and craftsmanship. So, do you think uh, that the design philosophy of a brand like Tanish might change post the pandemic? Though we're not completely out of the woods yet, so how would you say it uh, changes it? Well, see, Tanish is, as you said, all about art and craftsmanship. And Tanishka as a brand is uh, has established itself. Tanishka is all ta talking to the modern Indian woman with evolved sensibilities, taking on what has been there, the traditions, and making it contemporizing it for her, and making it very accessible, making it affordable, making it beautiful, making her wear the jewelry. So it's all about what Tanishka has done. Is it's all about adornment, and it's not about you buying jewelry and keeping it in the locker. So, so you know that's been the journey Tanishk has been at, and and, and Tanishk is one of the leading uh, brands of India, and uh, very clearly talking to the modern women uh, like you. So, if we were to look at uh, the last one and a half, two years we have gone through, I mean, it's it's something we have you know first time in the life of so many of us, and and as we are speaking here today, I think we are all got used to the pandemic. We are we are through with the first wave, the second wave, and now. Hopefully, we will not be hit by the third wave. Of course, if we talk about uh, you know design and sensibilities of Tanish, and since you spoke about design philosophy, design philosophy for a brand is really the guiding force. So you know, so design philosophy is something which will not necessarily change, but certainly a lot of other things will change. And what is likely to change is is you know the design strategy, the the creative expressions, the way we reach out to them, the execution. All of that will change, and the reason for the change is because of the changing consumer behavior and attitude, and attitude towards the category like jewelry and all of it. And 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 you know we know across categories what pandemic has done to us, each one of us. I mean we are all consumers. We are all consumers of jewelry, and what pandemic has done, it has made a significant change in our way of life, our living, and there are definite trends which has impacted us. Uh, as as we have uh, gone through this journey, so if we were to talk, coming back to jewelry and coming back to Tanish, uh, you know, it's it's what lot what this lockdown has taught us is to be together with family, to be celebrating small small occasion, and it's not that big bash uh, occasions which where we all could get together because pandemic ensured that we were all in our own home cocoon. You know, we were not able to go out and meet people. So in in our own way, people small small family bondings, people being with each other, small celebrations, small achievements, everything became a small moment to celebrate. So if you see the recent campaign of Thanish celebrating the little uh, big moments in life, it's about you know people have we lost people, you know family members. There has been a great deal of uh, 
you know, crisis in families, yet people have felt a lot of compassion, people have felt a lot of gratitude and come back. And, you know, the small things is what they are celebrating. So it is not the big, big things, but the small moments. And to, to celebrate the small moments and jewelry is absolutely the perfect way to gift yourself, to gift your loved one something and, you know, you know, kind of make up for that occasion. And such occasions calls for, you know, uh, jewelry, which is very wearable, very light, very beautiful, very uh, intricately uh, crafted and all of that. So, you know, so the moment what we are seeing also is people are coming out, people are buying and they are buying jewelry, which is, uh, you know, and we are also creating for them some very exquisite pieces of jewelry, which is just, you know, you can just wear it. And as we, we are also doing, you know, uh, you know, for a, a call like this. So it is for the webcam moments. It's for, it's, it's about the keyboard dressing. So those are the categories which we are also focusing on and creating some very, very beautiful stuff uh, and, and to take it to them. And we are sure that they will pick these things up to celebrate the small, small moments in life and cherish them. This is so easily led into what was going to be my next question that while the pandemic has really hindered a lot of things, but it has also presented different opportunities. Like you talked about changing consumer behaviors and like we said, it's more about dressing for Zoom. So I think um, that the increase in demand for accessories, because that's now that's what we see now. Do you think it also brings with itself very unique challenges like um, the increased dependency on e-commerce now because we're no longer being able to go to stores and shop like we used to? Yeah. I mean, I would say for a category like jewelry, it is not a challenge. It's a great opportunity because all along when e-commerce was growing in India, jewelry was one category which was not being picked up because people always felt that I have to go to a store to experience a product and then buy the product. So I would want to turn your question around and say that <laughs> what pandemic has offered us is a great opportunity because people couldn't go out and they had, the, you know, these occasions to celebrate. They had to pick it up. So, you know, the whole the whole ecosystem of retailing in jewelry has kind of definitely undergone a shift. So today, uh, video shopping, econ shopping, Omni, all these words which were not in the parlance of jewelry shopping has all come into the center of business. So I would look at it as an opportunity. Today, the consumer has a choice to call up the store, do a video chat, look, shortlist the products, and then go to the store, spend just five minutes, get it built and come back because you're quickly wearing it. Other opportunity option is to just go to the uh, website, place an order, get the product delivered at home. And there is this whole Omni experience. So I think this has opened out a multitude of opportunities for the buyers to sit at home and really look at what the world is offering, what each brand, the, the world of the brand is offering and then make a choice. So I think it's a, it's a brilliant opportunity which has opened up and which has opened up in the consumer's mind. And today consumer is no longer hesitant about picking up a jewelry online like how we would pick up any other stuff so it's been i think that part of it has been uh, a great uh, great thing which has happened to the jewelry industry is what i would say talking about change and since we also touched at sustainability so how would you say is the way forward with integrating sustainable design sensibility along with preserving indian artistry and craftsmanship since craftsmanship in india has largely been affected by the pandemic i think in your question there are two important points which you mentioned and one is one part is the sustainability the other part is about the whole craftsmanship and art and kadigari and, and 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 the lives of those so let me try and attempt to answer uh, each piece when we talk about you know uh, you know sustainable design principle it is very important as we said and especially in a category like jewelry, we don't have to worry much because the product is recyclable. I mean, any gold jewelry, you can recycle, create a new. So there is no waste. So it's not in the product we are talking about sustainability, but it is about the process which goes behind it to make it sustainable. You know, so the end product is sustainable in the sense because it's recyclable. Gold is recyclable, your diamonds and all of that. Everything is recyclable. But the manufacturing setup, how much power it's consuming, how much water it's consuming, are we carbon neutral? I think those are the questions to be asked. And from a, from a Tanish point of view and, and, and as a Titan company point of view, we have done a lot, we have a lot of initiatives to put these in place. And as a company, we are focusing on two key things. One is, of course, on the carbon footprint uh, and the other is uh, to become water positive. 
so a lot of initiatives which are helping us in the back end to ensure that the processes are sustainable and i think that is very very important uh, moving forward and that's that's something which we are working on and it's already giving us good results coming to the other part which is of course the the craft and the art and the carigars the the artisans who are ensuring that they do this kind of a workmanship yes they were impacted uh, during the covid because of you know complete shutdown obviously business not happening and the demand not being so the whole supply chain got impacted but tanish as a company it is we have taken care of all our uh, you know partners the 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 carigars and all of that and it's very important to preserve that because indian jewelry is finally uh, you know dependent on that big time dependent on them there is a lot of heritage in what we have and it is important to make this profession interesting even for the generations which are coming up rather than saying that you know go and join a bpo continue working on this we have to create that and tanishk has taken the first step and you would know that tanishk has got this carigar parks and carigar centers where we are not only are we giving them the opportunity we are also enhancing their life and making it giving them a better place to go so these two areas is it's been something tanishk has been working on for over years and had it has made a substantial difference in the lives of uh, you know the artisans and the carigars and um, both of them are two different pieces and both of them are equally important uh, as we move ahead in this journey and make uh, indian jewelry uh, more and more uh, you know uh, attractive and relevant and you know differentiated to to our audience no definitely as you said uh i think uh titan as a brand in itself and as a company has always talked about how you respect all the stakeholders in the pro- in the production process and as you rightly said it is about uh allowing that skill to go forward generations and not having to die out completely and um yeah. i think as um titan is also so well known for its um approach towards go vocal for local so even before it started making rounds with uh, within the last couple of years so how would you say that um, tanishk uses this as a driving force for growth well uh, in case i'm uh, for talk about titan company see we have got multiple brands and in some you know uh, uh, you know we are possibly looking at uh, you know depending outside for our consumption a little bit but when it comes to jewelry and when it comes to tanishk Uh, it is hundred percent local. I mean, we design in house, we manufacture it all in our factories, and with our strategic vendor partners, most almost all of them in India. So the whole entire supply chain is very India based. So it is local, and it is we are quite vocal about it, and, and we have actually may not have spoken loud about it because that's how it works, you know. So it is it will it will remain, and it will continue to be important because it makes there is the talent which is available in our country. to do so i mean there is really not much of a requirement for us to depend abroad and secondly i think it is it doesn't make sense to import jewelry and sell in this country given the custom duty and all of that so that whole piece actually ensures that in this category at least uh, uh, you know uh, it would a lot would be based out of india and it would be local manufacturing and local consumption and this industry is growing i mean we see that this industry is getting organized by the day uh, there are more and more organized players coming in there is you know gold mahal marking coming in so there is so many things which are getting cleaned up and corrected in our system and there is so much focus on the, this sector uh, from the from the regulatory side and that is that is really great the other thing is from a consumer point of view it is only evolving and gold uh, all said and done will never uh, hopefully will never lose its uh, luster even amongst the millennials and the gen z because there is see a category like jewelry is is not just one purchase there is so there it's it's also a lot of emotive uh, there is also a whole lot of experiential emotion and you know a lot of things which is sitting with uh, jewelry so it's not something which will just go away every piece of jewelry you take it has got a story to tell and it's got uh, you know everybody talks about it with so much of passion and emotion and all of it so it's a category which is uh, a lot has a lot more depth than just just like wearing your clothes it's got something more to it so i'm sure it will it will continue um, to be there and uh, all these what we spoke about uh, will continue and and this whole thing of being local uh, will not go away anywhere 
we've talked about so many uh, i would say heavy things we're talking about the plans for the future we're talking about uh, things like uh, design sensibilities and uh, shifting trends i think it it would be more than appropriate to go on a bit lighter as we end this so any predictions or anything that you look forward to as we are almost at the end of we midway through 2021 and as um uh, a chief design officer do you have any hopes for tw- the positive that 2022 might bring with itself no by 2022 i am a born optimist and i i i believe that if we buck this third uh, wave you know if somehow it doesn't happen i think we are will all see ourselves sailing well uh, from there is this threat of september but if we if it doesn't happen or it is very minor and it it just doesn't impact uh, lives it doesn't impact a lot of people because a lot of people uh, in the country are va- vaccinated so i am quite optimistic even for 21 by all the way up to 22 i'm sure all of us will have a rocking diwali and you know we would have hopefully beaten the pandemic and come back and and that's something i really hope for i i'm not very sure but i sincerely hope for that uh, for a bright future for this industry and of course for uh, for all of us uh, not only in india for all of us around the world because we have all gone through this for the last almost one and a half almost going to be two years and uh, i think we need a break the virus needs to get into a lockdown mode and we need to be uh, in there <laughs> outside and celebrating and cherishing every moment of our life so i'm hopeful i'm very very hopeful that uh, better things better times are ahead of us and yeah i hope so i really hope so 21 the second half of 20 will be at least the four months uh, we have more of 21 would be uh, great for all of us yeah thank you so much for uh, taking the time out to do this with us and it's it's definitely been uh, so lovely talking about everything that you do as uh, tanish and at titan so uh, so insightful to know about the different design philosophies and the vision of the brand Music